everyone, welcome to Genomics 101 at Home. We have a fun little experiment for you planned today where we'll be extracting DNA from a strawberry using some household items. My name is John, I'm an engineering manager at Illumina. Hi, I'm Kimmy, I'm a program manager at Illumina. And Grayson. And Grayson loves baseball and Legos. And you're not looking at Illumina, because I'm a kid. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so before we get started, Kimmy's going to tell you what you need. So what you'll need is some dish soap. You can use detergent, you can use shampoo, any kind of soap. You'll need half a cup of water. You'll need two plastic cups, a coffee filter, a plastic bag, strawberries, something to pick up your DNA. So you can use a coffee stirrer, we chose chopsticks, and some salt. And so once you have all of these lined up, you're ready for your experiment. Most importantly, you need one. <laughs> so before we get started, let's talk a little bit about DNA. So did you know that all things, all living things have DNA? No, I didn't know it. And I didn't know that that was a thing. Yes, all cells have DNA. So rats have DNA, monkeys. So all living things have DNA. Whether you're a human, a rat, a cucumber, or a virus, each or of our cells will have DNA inside it. So let's go ahead and get started. Mom, yes. Do viruses have DNA? Yes, they do. Viruses have DNA, like the coronavirus has DNA. So what we'll do to get started is we'll take our strawberries, go ahead and open up your bag. And put them in my bag. Yep. We'll go ahead and open up our bag and you can put the strawberries inside. So for your strawberries, make sure you cut off any leaves or stems. You want to make sure you just have the nice juicy red parts. And we'll get it sealed up. And then Grace is going to help us by mashing these strawberries you up. Want some boys? You are the hard. Yeah, you have much. Gotta put your body into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this gotta put the, really gotta get the palm of your hand mashing them down. There we go. There, there. there. Oh, buddy. Yeah, there's some so, so why do you think that we chose strawberries, even though they're hard to mash up? Because they're delicious. That's right. Strawberries have a lot of DNA in each of their cells. Uh, it's also really easy to extract using some household stuff. So what we'll do while they're mashing up the strawberries is we're going to make a lysis solution. And a lysis solution will help us to break open the cells. So we'll take our cup and we need one teaspoon of salt. And we'll need two teaspoons of shampoo, dish soap, laundry detergent, something that, that will help us break open those cells. And then we'll add that to our half a cup of water. Ooh, that's a lot. And mix yeah. it all up to make our lysis solution. Are you guys all ready? No. Yeah, all right, let's check it out. And it's one more squeeze. One more squeeze. I think it's ready. All right. Okay. Scientific term. Good job crushing it. All right, so let's open that up and we'll, we will add two teaspoons of this DNA extraction liquid, this lysis solution, into the bag. So this lysis solution is going to do two things. First, that soap is going to break down those cell membranes, giving us access to those DNA strands. The salt then helps break up those protein chains uh, that are holding those nucleic acids together and will get us ready and will let us what we'll be extracting. And then we mix mess it up. Yeah, we're going to mix it up. Try not to make bubbles. Try not to smash it too uh, hard. You don't want to pound it. But go ahead and mix that up so that the lysis solution is able to access all of those cells. Mommy? Um, I mean, can you make bubbles, but this is your bit. A little bit of bubbles is okay. Try not to be too aggressive. You don't want to get too many bubbles in that solution. Now that our lysis strawberry mixture is ready, we're gonna go ahead and use our coffee filter and cup. So what you wanna do is make a nice little sack, kind of on the outside, okay. pull the edges over. The key part is not get any pulp into the remaining solution. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that in, like so. It's so exciting. Once that's ready to go, put that aside. Go ahead, pinch off the top here, and go ahead, gently squeeze the coffee filter sack. And what you should be extracting is just a nice, clear pink liquid, keeping all that pulp within the coffee filter. So the DNA is actually in that liquid, you just can't see it yet. So we'll get that liquid out first, and then we'll use our cold rubbing alcohol to bring the DNA out of solution. So we put this rubbing alcohol in the fridge. Ooh, cool. Ew. Ew, it does not smell good. Now, by the way, this is rubbing alcohol that's used for cleaning. This is not the type of alcohol you drink, so please hide it from your parents and children. 
Well, well anyways, choose them I think it's water. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take we'll take our liquid from the strawberry and we're going to add the same amount of cold rubbing alcohol. Now don't mix it or stir it. Just let it sit. And Just let it sit. And mommy. Yeah. And see what do you see that's happening? And what can you see? We can see two layers. There's a red layer. Let's see if you can see it. There's a red layer on the bottom and there's a clear layer on the top. And that clear layer will contain the DNA. So what do you see in there, Grayson? So what we have in here is some some long white fibers. Ooh, when you see that? So those long thick fibers are actually made up of the strawberry's DNA. Notice that there's no strawberry pulp, right? Because that was left inside the coffee filter. And what you're left with after you're pouring that alcohol is nice stringy DNA. So this is the DNA from the strawberry. If you want, and if your parents say it's okay, you can actually store this in your refrigerator. Mommy? You just have to make sure you cover it up with plastic wrap to keep it from drying out. And this should be good for about a week in your refrigerator. And then... Throw it away when your parents say. Throw it away when your parents say. We hope you enjoyed this experiment as part of Genomics 101 at home. Huh? Feel free to check out our homepage for some additional fun videos. <laughs> Thank Bye. You. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching this episode of Genomics 101 at Home. Keep an eye out for future episodes to learn more about DNA and the science of genomics.